Hello, this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space channel. Today I'm selecting a verse of the day. We're getting down to just a few left in the wedding box. And after that, I'm going to change how I do the verse of the day again. This one is folded, so that means one of these verses has been read for the verse of the day. So we're relying on my memory to remember which one has not been read. Actually, both of these have been read. So I'm going to pull another one that's, and this one's bent too. Okay, I know I've read that one. Okay, this is three verses instead of one verse. This is Proverbs 24, 15 through 18. Do not lurk like a thief near the house of the righteous. Do not plunder their dwelling place. For though the righteous tell fall seven times, they will rise again. But the wicked stumble when casualty strikes. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice. Or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from them. So if your enemies are being punished and are failing, don't rejoice in that. So many times I have seen on social media people celebrating because someone's receiving karma. It's usually put in the terms of karma uh, instead of a God's punishment. And karma is a term from, the, from Eastern religions that basically is the old adage of what goes around comes around. And we shouldn't interfere with people receiving justice unless it's an injustice that's being done during the justice, like um, a child is suffering because of uh, the adult in the situation receiving justice. That might cause for interference, but just to save the child. But you also don't celebrate when uh, your enemies are being punished. And it will result in the punishment of them stopping. Because God will be displeased by that. And other people will be displeased by that. Oh, she's over here laughing about this. What kind of human being is she to laugh at that person's suffering? Even if that person's caused you a great deal of suffering, even though that person being punished or having their power taken from them is going to help you, don't rejoice about it. They're still a human being. A lot of times when we have enemies in life, a lot of times when people get in our way and we get in the way of other people, it's the situation. It's not the people. So don't judge that person, even if they've harmed you. And don't rejoice when something bad happens to them. I know that's difficult, but you need to keep love in your heart for everyone, even if they've harmed you. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.